Go over to your brother. Look at that patio. It's full of cracks. A huge fissure runs right through our property, out the gate, and down the street. One half of the block is sunk. It's at least a foot lower than the other side. The underground sewer line connected to our house now tilts upward and floods her patio, especially on rainy days. Since the 1900s, the city has spent billions on flood control. The latest project, already topping $2 billion, is plagued with cost overruns and delays, and will do little to help the city's water shortage or sinking problems. It just moves the water, rain, and sewer discharge out of the city as fast as it can. 80% of rainwater flushes through those pipes. Little is recycled or used to recharge the aquifer. Water Administrator Ramona Giri says there's no time to waste in fixing the system. The city just won't make it to the 22nd century, he says, if we don't resolve this problem and resolve it soon. Karen Khan, NPR News, Mexico City. Compared to plants and animals, fungi don't get a lot of attention. A group of scientists wants to change that with a report that they describe as the first ever major assessment of the world's fungi. We're talking about everything from microscopic yeast to mold, edible mushrooms, and even the largest living thing on Earth, fungus in Oregon, which is for miles. Tom Prescott is a researcher at the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew outside of London, and he worked on this new report called State of the World's Fungi. Welcome to All Things Considered. Thank you very much for having me. To start with what fungi actually are, I was surprised to read they're more closely related to animals than plants. That's certainly true. There are certain features that are typical of fungi. So, for example, the ability to digest food outside of their bodies and then absorb the nutrients back in. You're really right to point out that they are more similar to animals and certainly fungi are more similar to humans. They're more related to us than they are to plants. Why is this report necessary? Fungi are a kind of mysterious hidden biological kingdom. They kind of are always in the shadows. And by chance at Kew Gardens in London, we have the biggest collection of fungi in the world. So we've got think, about 1.25 million fungal specimens. You write that more than 90% of the fungi in the world are still unknown to science. How is that possible? Well, not all fungi are visible to the naked eye. Your listeners could be walking through the woods and, without knowing it, walking past a new species of fungi. Plants and animals are indisputably more charismatic, sexier than a typical fungus. If I asked you to just make an elevator pitch for why fungus should get a little more attention, a little more love from the average person, what would you say? Okay, fungi 